It's been 33 years since the original Home Alone hit theaters, and 31 years since its sequel premiered just in time for the holidays. Prepare to embark on a nostalgic journey as we revisit the beloved holiday classic Home Alone, released in 1990, and compare it to the present day, 34 years later in 2024. Join us as we take a closer look at the entire cast, from the iconic Kevin McAllister to the bumbling Wet Bandits, to see how they've changed over the years and what they're up to now. Let's get started. Joe Pesci as Harry Harry served as the fiery, thieving ringleader aiming for the McAllister's residence, often caught shouting at his clumsy sidekick, Marv. Joe Pesci made a lasting impact on viewers, as well as on Culkin. During the rehearsal for the scene where Harry tries to gnaw off Kevin's finger, Joe actually bit Macaulay, leaving a faint scar. Pessy was raised in New Jersey, and during his teenage years, he was close friends with Frankie Valli and Tommy DeVito, even introducing the two to songwriter Bob Gaudio, which led to the formation of the Four Seasons. He also grew up among several mobsters, shaping his wise guy persona that has become so iconic. Pessy shares a strong bond with actor Robert De Niro and director Martin Scorsese, both of whom were so impressed with his performance in 1976's The Death Collector that they sought him out to co-star in Raging Bull as Joey LaMotta. Pessy was nearly ready to give up his acting career, but it ended up skyrocketing. Their collaboration peaked with 1990's Goodfellas, earning Joe an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Some other notable roles include his tenacious portrayal in My Cousin Vinny and 1995's Casino. What a finale. Quite intense. Pesci was last seen in 2019's The Irishman, once again alongside his buddies De Niro and Scorsese, and currently stars in the original Peacock streaming series, Bupkis. Daniel Stern as Marv. Marv serves as the goofy, tall, and clumsy member of the Wet Bandits duo, often coming up with various nicknames for their criminal duo, resembling a social media manager in his creativity. Daniel Stern kickstarted his acting journey on Broadway, including a notable stint in a True West production alongside Gary Sinez. His breakthrough role came in 1979, where he starred alongside Dennis Quaid in Breaking Away. The two actors would reunite nine years later for the film noir remake D.O.A. In 1982, he portrayed one of five college buddies in Barry Levinson's Diner. Hailing from Bethesda, Maryland, Stern seamlessly portrayed a character from Baltimore. Some other memorable roles include his appearance in 1991 City Slickers and his voiceover work as the adult Kevin Arnold on the iconic coming-of-age series Wonder Years. Stern's recent projects include his role in the critically acclaimed Hulu series Shrill, and he is set to appear in the Apple Plus series For All Mankind in 2023. At 65 years old, he spends his leisure time crafting bronze sculptures for private commissions, gallery displays, and art expos. Devin Rattray as Buzz. Devin Rattray gained significant recognition for his portrayal of Buzz McAllister in Home Alone. The actor depicted the antagonistic older brother to Kevin, played by Culkin, following his roles in 1989's Little Monsters and the CBS series Heartland. On December 8, 2021, Rattray was reportedly involved in an altercation with his girlfriend while staying in an Oklahoma hotel room. He was charged with domestic assault and battery by strangulation, a felony, as well as misdemeanor domestic assault and battery. Following a dispute over his girlfriend's failure to charge fans for his autograph, they returned to their hotel room, where... Rattray allegedly pushed his girlfriend onto the bed, placed one hand on her throat, covered her mouth with the other hand, and applied pressure, according to the affidavit. Disturbingly, Rattray reportedly uttered the words, This is how you die, as he assaulted his girlfriend. Salt. In August 2022, authorities revealed that Rattray was being investigated for an alleged sexual assault that occurred in September 2017. 
The purported victim, who had been friends with Rattray for 15 years, came forward after learning about the 2021 incident, accusing Rattray of drugging her drinks. John heard as Peter. Peter McAllister plays the role of Kevin's father, providing a comforting presence with his penchant for wearing sweaters amidst the chaos of a bustling household. He joined the Home Alone cast after Chris Columbus had already secured Culkin, Pessy, and Stern, allowing him to approach lesser-known actors for the parental roles. He gained prominence for his portrayal of the troubled Vietnam War veteran Alex Cutter in Cutter's Way. Among his notable roles are photographer George Cooper in CHUD in 1984 and then serving as Tom Hanks's corporate rival in Big. On the small screen, he graced The Sopranos as the conflicted, morally compromised detective collaborating with Tony Soprano on the side. His final film appearance was in Imprisoned in 2018, which was released posthumously after his sudden death from cardiac arrest in July 2017. John, aged 71 at the time of his passing, tragically lost his estranged son Maxwell just a few months prior at the age of 22. It marked a sorrowful conclusion for a distinguished actor, Robert's Blossom as Marley. While older audiences trembled in fear at the sight of Jason wielding his massive chainsaw, children found solace in old man Marley and his trusty snow shovel. Initially feared by Kevin due to neighborhood rumors, Marley ultimately proved to be a valuable ally in thwarting the wet bandits. Robert's Blossom regarded this role as a highlight of his career, often being recognized by children who would inquire, Aren't you the man? Indeed, he was. Blossom embarked on his acting journey on the stage during the 1950s. He garnered three Obie Awards for his outstanding performances in off-Broadway productions, such as Village Wooing, 1955, which marked his debut, Do Not Pass Go, 1965, and The Ice Age, 1976. In the 1960s, he co-founded Filmstegi, a pioneering multimedia avant-garde theater group. His Broadway repertoire includes acclaimed productions like Ballad of the Sad Café and Operation Sidewinder, while in 1988, he graced Peter Brook's rendition of The Cherry Orchard. Blossom passed away on July 8, 2011, at the age of 87, due to cerebrovascular disease. At the time of his demise, he was residing in a nursing home. Angela Gothals as Linny. Linny portrays Kevin's older sister, often teasing him for his perceived incompetence, but expressing concern when he goes missing. Angela adeptly assumes the role of Macaulay Culkin's sibling, with her earliest credit dating back to the 1988 film Rocket Gibraltar. In 1999, Gothals completed her studies at Vassar College, a private liberal arts institution, earning a bachelor's degree in French, a language in which she is fluent. Additionally, she competed in equestrian events at the advanced walk-trot-canter level in the IHSA Zone 2 Region 1. By February 2002, she relocated to Los Angeles to pursue opportunities in film and television. During that same year, she portrayed Polly in Comedy Central's inaugural original film, Porn and Chicken. The movie was inspired by the true story of the Porn and Chicken Club at Yale University, known for its weekly gatherings where members indulged in fried chicken while watching adult films. The club gained attention in 2001 for its intention to produce its own adult film, titled The Stax XX, although the project remained unfinished, despite the release of a trailer. Subsequently, in 2002, Guthel starred in the 1980s-themed sitcom Do Over, Jerry Bammon as Uncle Frank. Jerry Bammon portrays Uncle Frank McAllister, Peter's ill-mannered, unkind, irritable, miserly, and self-centered elder brother. Bammon featured in the Michael J. Fox movie The Secret of My Success, 1987, and shared the screen with Fran Brill and Alyssa Milano in Old Enough, 1984. Furthermore, in 1992, Baman had a brief role as Kevin Costner's former associate Ray Court in the highly successful film The Bodyguard, 
He also portrayed defense attorney Stan Gillum in numerous episodes of Law and & Order and Law and & Order SVU. Bamman made an appearance in the inaugural season episode The Blue Wall, portraying Lutate Kennedy from Internal Affairs. Additionally, Bamman co-starred in Runaway Jury as the visually impaired jury foreman Herman Grimes. He also played Dr. Judalone in the 1992 movie Lorenzo's Oil. Lorenzo Hillary Wolf as Megan. Hillary Wolf portrayed McAllister's daughter Megan in Home Alone. She secured the role of Kevin's elder sister following appearances on American Playhouse, Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Color, and I'll Take Manhattan in the 80s. Following Home Alone, Wolf appeared in Big Girls Don't Cry, They Get Even, 1991, before making her final appearance in Home Alone 2. Despite this, she remained active, pursuing a successful career in martial arts. The former child actress participated in the 1996 and 2000 Olympics for judo. Larry Hankin as Officer Balzac. Larry Hankin portrayed Officer Larry Balzac. He was an early participant of the Second City, studied under improv theater mentors Viola Spolin and Paul Sills, and in 1963 relocated to San Francisco to help establish the improvisational ensemble, The Committee. His first significant supporting role was as Pete Romero in Viva Max in 1969. Hankin appeared in television series Breaking Bad, Matlock, and Friends as Mr. Heckles, and had a prominent role in Escape from Alcatraz, 1979, alongside Clint Eastwood. He also featured in How Sweet It Is, 1968, with Debbie Reynolds and James Garner, and the Adam Sandler film Billy Madison, 1995. In Seinfeld, Hankin played Tom Pepper, the actor chosen as Kramer on the sitcom within a sitcom Jerry. He portrayed a vagrant in season five of Malcolm in the Middle. Later, he reunited with Brian Cranston in seasons three and five of Breaking Bad as junkyard owner Old Joe. He revisited his previous character from Breaking Bad in the Netflix sequel movie El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie. Hankin was a founding member of the Commedia dell'arte improvisation troupe The Committee in 1963, headquartered at an indoor bocce ball court in San Francisco's North Beach area. He made an appearance in the Janet Jackson music video for her 1986 hit single What Have You Done For Me Lately as a cook waiter. In 2021, he featured in Friends the Reunion, John Candy as Gus Polinsky. Already a significant figure in the comedy realm, John Candy secured a minor role as Gus Polinsky in Home Alone. He portrayed a fellow traveler alongside Kate McAllister, landing the role after spending years in the 70s on The David Steinberg Show and SCTV, and making his mark on the silver screen in the 80s with The Blues Brothers, National Lampoon's Vacation, Spaceballs, Planes, Trains and Automobiles, and Uncle Buck. Candy and his spouse Rosemary Hobor had two children, Christopher Michael and Jennifer Ann. He practiced Roman Catholicism. In 1991, Bruce McNall, Wayne Gretzky, and Candy acquired ownership of the Canadian Football League's Toronto Argonauts. Their celebrity ownership garnered attention in Canada, and the team invested significantly, even signing promising National Football League prospects such as wide receiver Raghib Ismail. During Candy's tenure as co owner, the Argonauts clinched the 1991 Grey Cup defeating Calgary 36-21 in the final. Initially, only McNall's name was inscribed on the Grey Cup trophy as a team owner, but the CFL rectified the oversight in 2007 by adding Candy's and Gretzky's names. Candy passed away peacefully at the age of 43 on March 4, 1994, in Durango City, Mexico, while filming Wagons East. Reports indicated that Candy's cause of death was a heart attack. Kieran Culkin as Fuller. We can't overlook Fuller, Kevin's cousin who wets the bed, and Macaulay's real younger sibling. Kieran has enjoyed a remarkable career as well. If you're a fan of television, you must be tuned in to his HBO series, Succession. The 40-year-old performer received an Emmy nomination for his role in 2020.
During his teenage years, he balanced lead roles in indie films with minor parts in mainstream movies. He starred in the Oscar-nominated film Music of the Heart, 1999, portrayed the titular character in Igby Goes Down, 2002, earning a Golden Globe Award nomination, and took on the lead role in The Mighty, 1998, alongside Kevin Dillon. Culkin appeared in Jesse Eisenberg's movie A Real Pain, which premiered at the 2024 Sundance Film Festival. The comedic drama follows two cousins reuniting after their grandmother's passing and embarking on a tour of Holocaust sites in Poland. Owen Gleiberman of Variety commended Culkin's portrayal, stating, He's delivering an exceptional performance as a compulsive smart aleck addicted to outdoing others. Culkin tied the knot with Jazz Chartan on June 8, 2013. They share two kids, a daughter born in September 2019 and a son born in August 2021. Kristen Minter as Heather. Kristen Minter stars as Heather McAllister, Kevin's eldest cousin. Minter appeared as Kathy Winslow in the movie Cool as Ice alongside Vanilla Ice and as Rachel McLeod in three episodes of Highlander, the series titled Homeland, S4E1, Deliverance, S4E14, and Promises, S4E15. As she has taken on supporting roles in various television shows, notably in ER as Miranda Randy Frontzak, for 72 episodes from 1995 to 2003. Minter also played the character Nina in the body horror film Excess Flesh, Santa Moses as Tracy. Santa Moses plays Tracy, Kevin's elder cousin. Born on August 8, 1973, in Elmhurst, Illinois, Moses comes from Italian and Lebanese heritage. Her journey in the entertainment industry commenced at the tender age of six months, appearing in a diaper commercial, an experience she humorously labels as embarrassing. Subsequently, she has featured in over 100 national advertisements, including campaigns for Teleflora, Wendy's, and Toyota. Moses has graced the silver screen in various films such as Choose Connor, Can't Hardly Wait, DC Cab, Scream Queen, The Kiss, and Tequila Body Shots. On television, she has showcased her talent in shows like Strong Medicine, the Education of Max Bickford, Everybody Loves Raymond, The Division, Touched by an Angel, and Party of Five. Additionally, she has had recurring roles on My So-Called Life, Sister Sister, Greek, and General Hospital. In 1993, Moses enjoyed a stint as a regular cast member on the NBC Saturday morning sitcom Running the Halls, which lasted for one season. She was also part of the improvisational group Danger Danger. Currently residing in Los Angeles, Moses exchanged vows with television editor Joseph Mikan on July 19, 2015 in Burbank, California. Michael C. Marana as Jeff. Michael C. Marana portrays Jeff McAllister, Kevin's elder sibling. Marona gained recognition for his portrayal of Stewart in a notable series of 1999 commercials for TD Ameritrade. In these ads, Stewart, a laid-back employee, assists his clueless boss in navigating the internet with exaggerated enthusiasm. Marona revisited this role in a comedic reel alongside Bill Clinton, showcased during Clinton's farewell appearance as President of the United States at the 2000 White House Correspondents Association Dinner. During the 2000s, Marona appeared in films such as Slackers and 40 Days and 40 Nights. His resume also includes roles in Sex and the City and Be Kind Rewind. Marona's acting career concluded in 2013, after which he transitioned to working as an electrician on film and television projects in New York. Proje Additionally, he co-hosts the podcast The Adventures of Danny and Mike, with his former co-star, Danny Tamborelli, from The Adventures of Pete and Pete. Marana has returned to acting in the 2020s. He entered matrimony before 2013 and is a father to a son, Macaulay Culkin as Kevin. Kevin! Kevin McAllister, an energetic eight-year-old whose minor outburst over the absence of cheese pizza led to him being inadvertently left behind at home while his family rushed to catch their flight. 
Culkin excels as the sharp-witted, resourceful child who must defend his house against two unkempt, menacing intruders, experiencing both the fantasy and terror of every child's imagination, while adeptly navigating both scenarios. Culkin embarked on his acting journey at the age of four, but his breakthrough came with the 1988 film Rocket Gibraltar, his debut movie, and one of Burt Lancaster's final works. The following year, he starred alongside John Candy in the beloved classic Uncle Buck, directed and written by the iconic John Hughes, paving the way for this enduring Christmas favorite. Such was its impact that Culkin reportedly still affectionately refers to Catherine O'Hara as mom to this day. At present, Macaulay is 43 years old and is romantically involved with former Disney star Brenda Song. The pair shares a child together, while he occasionally dabbles in acting, such as appearing in Season 10 of American Horror Story, Culkin remains active. On his 40th birthday in 2020, he humorously tweeted, Hey guys, wanna feel old? I'm 40. You're welcome. This tweet garnered significant attention, becoming one of the most liked tweets of all time. Catherine O'Hara as Kate. Kate is the determined mother who mirrors the journey from the previous John Hughes movie, Trains, Planes, and Automobiles, alongside John Candy himself, as they strive to return home to Kevin. In a nod to John Candy's quick wit, it's noteworthy that he brilliantly embodied this polka-loving character in just 23 hours of filming, with much of his dialogue improvised on the spot. Catherine O'Hara and John Candy had previously collaborated in the 70s on the Canadian series, SCTV, earning her a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Writing in 1981. Her career is truly remarkable. Among her standout roles is Delia in Tim Burton's Beetlejuice, as well as her collaborations with Christopher Guest in projects like 2000's Best in Show. More recently, O'Hara received another Emmy Award, this time for her portrayal of Moira Rose on Schitt's Creek. She delivers a remarkable performance as a former soap opera star known for her extravagant demeanor. Presently, Catherine, or rather Moira, is 70 years old and shows no signs of slowing down. Her latest venture is the 2022 film Argyle, where she stars alongside Henry Cavill and Ron Howard's daughter, Bryce Dallas. Undoubtedly, she has a devoted fan base eagerly anticipating whatever she graces the screen with next. While we look back on the timeless charm of the original film and the exciting new twists brought by the 2024 reboot, one thing remains clear. Home Alone continues to capture the hearts of viewers of all ages. Whether you're reminiscing about the classic moments from the past or discovering the magic of the franchise for the first time, the spirit of Home Alone lives on. We hope you enjoyed this journey through the lives of the cast members then and now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more nostalgic content. And as always, keep the holiday spirit alive and remember to check your surroundings before you embark on any adventures.